Hello, my name is Maria from MathMammoth.com. In this lesson, we're going to talk about percent. I'm sure you've seen percentages already. And in this lesson, we're going to concentrate on the idea that percentages or percents are just fractions. The word percent, think of it as per cent. The word cent comes from a Latin word meaning 100. So this actually means per 100, okay, or division by 100. For example, if I have 5%, it means 5 divided by 100, which is a fraction, 5 hundredths, okay? So this percentage here, 5%, is the fraction 5 hundredths. Percentages are hundredth parts, okay? They are just fractions. So that in mind, let's change these percentages into fractions and decimals, because they are fractions, okay? 45%, write 45 for the word per, you write the fraction line, and cent, you write 100, okay? 45 hundredths. And now as a decimal, it is again 45 hundredths, which is 0 0.45 as a decimal. 7%, just do the same, 7, and then per, and then cent, the 100. So that's it as a fraction, 7 hundredths as a decimal. We have two decimal digits, and here is the hundredths place. 270%, the same thing, right? 270, and then per, and then the cent, or the hundred. Now this fraction could be written as a mixed number here in between, so let me do that. It is 2 and 70 hundredths. And as a decimal then, we get the 2 and then 70 hundredths. You could also omit the last zero and get 2.7. Over here I have a fraction. I want you to think and write it as a percent or percentage and as a decimal. Okay? Not difficult, right? 86 hundredths, or 86 per cent, 86 percent. 86 hundredths as a decimal, you've already learned that, it is 0 0.86. How about this one? 0 0.4, 4 tenths. As a fraction, it is 4 tenths. But, as a percentage, you would want here to be 100 in the denominator. And I can do that if I write it as 40 hundredths, right? An equivalent fraction. And then I get 40%. Here's a fraction again. This picture illustrates the fraction 1 fourth. What would that be as a percent? This, think of this whole thing. This is one, one whole. But think of it as 100%, okay? 100% is one, the whole thing. If this is 100%, then one fourth of it would be 100 divided by 4, right? 25%. What about the unshaded part, the white part here? As a fraction and as a percent. As a fraction, we have 3 fourths. And if this one-fourth is 25%, then over here we would have, of course, 75%. That's easy. Next, we have some other fractions that we can easily convert or change into percentages, or write as percentages. 8 over 25. I can use equivalent fractions and write this fraction with the denominator 100. 25 goes 4 times into 100, so I go 8 times 4 here equals 32. That is from your fraction math. And now it is in the format 32 per cent, right? Per 100. So it is 32 percent. And let me write it as a decimal too. 32 hundredths, like that. 0 0.32. 7 tenths. It's an easy one. Again, you can think through equivalent fractions. Put 100 as your denominator. And here's 10 times 10, 7 times 10. So we get 70 hundredths, 70 per cent. 
as a decimal 0.70 or 0.7. So all of these five are equal. Isn't it interesting? Four fifths of the chess club members are teenagers. How many percent are not? Look over here, it gives us a fraction. Four fifths of the chess club members are teenagers. We don't know how many members there are in that club, but we know that four fifths of them are teenagers and the rest are not. So when you come here, how many percent are not? You can think first of the fraction. If four fifths are teenagers, then one fifth are not teenagers, right? So one fifth of them are not teenagers. And then we just change one fifth into a percentage. One fifth equals. Again, it will work to think through equivalent fractions because five goes into 100 evenly. Five times 20 and then one times 20. This is the same as 20 hundredths, which is 20%. Lastly, I want to briefly look at some other fractions that are not so easy to write as percentages. For example, one-sixth. Here's an illustration, one-sixth. If this one whole is also 100%, can you think of an idea of how to find how many percent is this part, one-sixth? You could obviously go 100 divided by 6, right? Let's do that using long division here. 6 goes to 10 once. And to 40 it goes 6 times. Okay, so we get 16 here. That would mean 16%. But I'm going to continue the division just a little bit here. Okay. 40 here, so again 6 here, and 40 here, it repeats this pattern here, so it's going to repeat these 60s here too. I'm going to round it right here, so I will get about 16.7%. I want to point out to you something interesting about this division here. If instead of 100 originally, if I had divided 1 by 6, 1, 1.0000, 1 divided by 6, which is my original fraction, 1 divided by 6. If I did that, then I would have my decimal point here in the answer, and this would be a decimal number, not a percentage. But I can change or convert the decimal number into a percentage, 0 0.166 and so on. If it was 0 0.16, it would be exactly 16 hundredths it would be 16%, okay? Whenever you have a fraction, you can divide to change it into a decimal, okay? Here's a fraction, 8 ninths. So we're going to divide 8 divided by 9 to change it into a decimal and from there into a percentage, okay? Again, long division. Or a calculator. 8 divided by 9, over here. I need lots of decimal zeros. 9 goes into 80 8 times. 8 times, and 72. Again, I get 80. Okay, again, 8 times. Again, 80. 8 times. It's going to repeat these 8s. This is a decimal, 0 0.8888. There's actually 88 hundredths here and then more decimals. So if I round it to the nearest percent, it would be here, it would be 89%. If I take one more decimal, I would get 88.9%. Or, like I said, it could also be rounded to 89%, depending how you round it. Okay, we're all done with this lesson.